Okay, so we're out here this afternoon planting our watermelon. Now, because I'm out of garden space, I had to figure out a way to do watermelon. So I'm underneath my apple tree, one of them, and I'm gonna flip this around so you can see I've got potatoes on the edges, and because it gets good sun here, I'm gonna do my watermelon patch right here under one tree. All right, so I got one planted. You can see my potatoes on the outside growing very well. Uh, God willing, we're gonna have a lot of potatoes this fall all the way around here. And so what I'm doing, because I'm in wood chips, is I dig up the wood chips and you can see they're breaking down nice and moist. We've been getting a lot of rain. So this is, you know, not even a full year. I'd say six months down here. Now it's still woody, but you can see like there's a lot of other stuff in there. So um, I've been digging up a lot of worms with this. And so what I do is I put down some compost that I bought. It's lobster compost from Maine. It's all organic stuff and vermicompost. And I basically dig a hole down to the dirt and uh, then I, f I fill the bottom with vermicompost and a little bit of lobster compost. I put the plant in there and I bury it. And uh, then I just cover the rest of it with these nice moist wood chips um, to cover it back up. And now a lot of these are, like I said, they're, they're moist and they already have the beginnings of like vermicompost and they're starting to break down. So they've got a lot of good stuff in it so that when I go to water this in, it's gonna compost tea right away for me, which is gonna help these guys get started here. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna show you on the next hole that I dig here, um, how I do this. So that way if it works, I can do this for the next couple years until this stuff really starts to break down and then I don't have to do this anymore. And then these will just add a little good extra nutrients and, and good uh, microorganisms started in these little pockets in here. So, all right, let me show you that. All right, so I dig down. That's just the soil below this, which um, if you're curious about what four or five inches of wood chips will do, this was just grass before. All this was just that. So I put the wood chips here and then it's starting to die down. It's all died. And then I take uh, some of my vermicompost, about a handful. And I just kind of bury or break that up in there. You only need about a handful, doesn't take too much of that stuff. Super dense. And then add some of the regular compost. About up to the height that I need. And then I'm gonna grab my plant. You can see I got a couple more here. Okay. And uh, this is hard to do one handed. I should have watered these before, like I meant to do. So I just kind of set it in there. And then I actually bury the rest of it with more compost. So that these roots. Well, there's plenty of food for it in there, but they get started in, you know, soil and compost. And then the beauty about this is these wood chips are loaded with moisture and water, and it's super airy and light, and so that the plant's roots, once they're established, can actually really begin to just kind of push through the wood chips, get enough air or, or moisture that it needs, but um, uh, not... It should be fine. It should be fine. Losing my train of thought here. Realize what time it is. That text message is coming in. So, got homework to do still. Fun, fun, fun. Anyways, that's probably a really bad berry saying. I guess they're using a camera. And that's it. And so I've got two more to go. And uh, we'll have a watermelon patch behind our potato patch underneath my apple tree.